Excellent. So hi everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with the Chef. My name is Paul Krauk and uh, today with the holidays quickly approaching, what I wanted to show you was a spin on a, on a nice pork dish and we're going to accompany that with a very traditional Latin uh, drink. Today with me I have my associate Margarita who is going to show me how to make a, uh, a drink called coquito which is which is a Latin version of, of an eggnog. What is all this about? Okay, so this is a, this is a traditional drink, um, mainly in Puerto Rico. Um, it was actually, the recipe was given to me by um, my mother-in-law. Oh, uh, a family uh, recipe. Yes. A little secret? Uh, secret somewhat, recipe. yes. Oh. I know uh, you've I been trying to get that. the recipe, but yeah, it's somewhat right. of a secret. Um, so pretty much it's uh, the texture of an eggnog, the only thing it does not have the eggs, so it's pretty much um, based with um, coconut milk, sweet and condensed milk, yeah. um, evaporated milk, um, obviously cloves and uh, cinnamon sticks, mm -hmm. vanilla extract, vanilla bean ice cream, and the best part, Bacardi rum. I'm going to start off um, blending the coconut milk um, because of the chunks that the coconut milk has. I want to make sure that it has a smooth texture. Okay. While I do that, maybe you can mix in the rest of the milk. Yeah. And then uh, while I'm doing that, so you have a cinnamon and what was that? Cloves mixture. It's cloves and cinnamon sticks. Yes. So what? How did you do that? What? Why is it sitting in water? Well, I we took two cups of water um, and uh, just. Boiled it, okay. so you just get like, like the nice brown texture, and then yep. let it sit, cool it off, and then use that. That also reduces the, the sweetness of everything that we're adding in. Right, and my understanding is that you actually did that yesterday. Yes. So that it sits overnight and really gets the, uh, the, the, the flavors from the cinnamon. Right. And the clove in there. So you said this was handed down from your mother-in-law? My mother-in-law, yes. Uh, we start making it, uh, I'd say, around Thanksgiving and work through January. Very popular. I know I've had it before. I know you have. <laughs> You've, the margarita has, uh, every year she, she makes it for us. Um, so it's a special treat. She never divulges <laughs> the recipe. So that's why I kind of tricked her to come on onto this uh, show right here. So now I can get the recipe from her. Is it working? Uh, somewhat. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so I added five tablespoons of vanilla, vanilla extract. And now I'm just going to blend this. Okay. Blend away. Okay, so again, you blended this because you want to break up any of the chunks of the coconut right. that's in a coconut milk. Because you okay. want it to be smooth. Um, so you can actually add the water. So this is our cinnamon and clove water. Yes. Which you said is about two cups? Yes. I can smell that from here. It's really strong. It feels like a nice little potpourri. Mm -hmm. It's like you have in your kitchen during the holidays. It's a nice aroma. Okay, so I'm going to blend this and then um, we'll take half of this and add it to the mixture so that I can add in the ice cream. Okay. 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 That's it? You take, yep. So you're going to take half of that and just add it into your mixture. All right, so I'm going to pour half of this in here. Mm -hmm. Right there. Perfect. And now again, you're going to add, that's just vanilla, a nice vanilla bean ice cream? It's vanilla bean ice cream. Right. I don't typically use the generic brand I because I want it to be like, I have that vanilla bean taste. Yeah. So, so it's the good this. stuff. It's the good stuff. Excellent. And in my understanding, this is a very, uh, this drink is actually has a lot of history to it. It right? does. So um, it comes from the island of Puerto Rico. Yes, it it's comes from Puerto Rico. It's been around for many, many years. Um, I know it's very big in my, my family, and, and it's also given out as, as gifts around the holidays. Yes. So um, you can use um, your normal wine bottles that you have at home, the, the twist off caps, and clean them out and give them out as gifts. Excellent. And also, everyone has their own little spin to it. Yes. So, I mean, having lived in Puerto Rico, I understand that everyone has a little spin to everything, so. Some will add the, the cherries to their mix. 
cherries. Yes. That sounds really good. Um, I've never had that. Some don't add the ice cream. I like to add the ice cream. It gives it that nice, um, mm -hmm. thick texture. Yeah. And now you're using Bacardi white rum. Yes. Is there a reason? You know, because I know like people will use a spice rum, especially during the holidays. It's, you know. Uh, the spice rum. Like, does that um, make a difference? Yeah, could have some of a, of a, of a tart taste to it. Okay. This one's um, is nice and smooth, so that's why I prefer the clear. Perfect. All right. So let's start off here. I'll dump that in. That mixture there. So this is all ready to go. Should be ready to go. So now I'm just going to do a quick. Well, we forgot the best part. Yes. Oh, we have okay. no <laughs> Okay. Okay. So how much rum do you add? Okay. Um, normally for this particular recipe, I'll use um, probably. Uh, maybe up to here from the top. Of so what? like a third, a third, a third of a bottle or so? Third, yeah, about a third of a bottle. Right. What I do is I don't add in the Bacardi. If I have family members or friends that I'm going to um, gift this to, if they don't like to drink, Right. So I'll set that aside, and then that'll also determine how much I use. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So, so we would separate some out for exactly. for the kids or or whomever. Mm -hmm. um, and then we add the Bacardi. Right. But didn't you, because you were talking about this yesterday, didn't you say that it actually is best when it sits? Yes. Because it, it gets, the flavor of the, of the rum comes out a lot more after it sits for a day. The longer it sits, the better it tastes. Excellent. Good. Well, yeah, gotta love there that. There we go. Let's see. Let me measure. Wow. <laughs> there we go. I think that's enough. Yeah, I think that's definitely we'll enough. See. We'll, we'll taste. So like I said, you add um, the rum based on your taste. Yeah. Um, and then you just go from there. So, you made a batch of this yesterday. I did. Right. Which we just happen to have here. This is yesterday's batch made the same way. Mm hmm Did you want to do the honors? Sure. Because we have to try it. I know we tried it yesterday. And it was very good, but I want to see you know, the difference it makes after sitting for 24 hours. It's very thick. Yeah, this definitely have that eggnog texture. Yeah. So is there a traditional uh, 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 cheer of toast that you make? Or no, just happy holidays. Man, salud. 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 Excellent. It means to your health, right? Oh, awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. That is really good. It is. Wow. Excellent. Thank right, you. And that's how you make coquito. This is a wonderful drink. And what I've done with this drink, because we did make this yesterday, was I wanted to incorporate it into a, a sauce. So I played around last night. So I'm going to show you how I make a sauce out of this. Yes, I'm curious to see what yeah. you did.